So now, here we have the 4017 decade counter. You can see that the LED keeps moving, and now it just went back. Uh, but it keeps moving down one spot, the way I wired it, right when we get a high uh, clock signal. So that's the 4017 decade counter. 555 timer giving the uh, timing, the signal right there. And uh, so yeah, there's a lot of uh, uses for this. First off, you could you know count to uh, nine, from zero to nine, or you could also count higher if you have a second 4017 and uh, when you get uh, to nine and it jumps back to zero it raises that one a digit right there a lot more wiring than I'm gonna do anytime soon um, but yeah you just keep stacking these to add another digit as needed hopefully that makes sense so in any case uh, the outputs are kind of lined up but they're not lined up in order from uh, zero to nine right there so you gotta look at the data sheet to uh, get that wiring right so now, here's my schematic diagram for the 4017 decade counter. When you light an LED at uh, the output, every time it changes, so only one output is high at a time, unless you really screwed something up. So if uh, output zero is high, and then you get clock signal, one goes high. And then uh, again, next signal, uh, clock signal, then you get number two, that's high there. It starts with zero and works its way down to nine. So in any case, I'm using a 555 timer for the clock signal. Right when it goes high, that uh, is when we get the clock signal. As I said before, that sets the next output high. And there's the pin layout and stuff, but uh, review the data sheet as well. So in any case, one thing to be aware of is that uh, output zero and then uh, one, they are next to each other, but then you come to output two here. That's pin four. That's not right next to uh, pin two. They are not in order. You actually have to look for the pin that goes with the output. So now, pin 15 of the 4017 decade counter is the reset pin. So that's up here. I'm going to show you a cool little thing we can do. So I'm just going to yank an LED. Doesn't matter uh, which one. And uh, so I'm going to try to plug this in before we get down to the LED before it. But I'm going to set it to a 15 and uh, made it just in time. There you can see. Now it, uh, it resets. It goes back to zero right when the uh, output that I have it wired to tries to go high, then it actually jumps back up to zero right there. So we got five LEDs that are still wired. Number six, I took the LED out for the signal. And so it's gonna keep going through these five uh, LEDs. Now remember, that bottom LED is four, and then it's going back to zero. So zero is one of those numbers, zero to four instead of one to five. So now we're going to look at the enable pin of the 4017, the uh, decade counter. So there you can see it's uh, counting away. It moves every time we get a high uh, clock signal right there from the 555 timer. So this jumper is just pegged in the board. Keep things out of the way. We have the enable pin that uh, uh, being held to ground. You don't want to let the enable pin float as you can see right there. So um, I don't know how bad that is for this. Um, but it's a video that I'm making, so I might as well uh, demonstrate. So uh, whatever the uh, output was when I plugged that to the positive supply now, that's uh, pin 13, the enable, then uh, it's going to stay where it was. It's not going to move again until I remove this, given the low input to the enable pin again. So it needs that low input to uh, keep the counting going. If you give it a high input, it locks it in place. So now, I didn't uh, do anything with the uh, carry out on the schematic there, but it doesn't matter. So that's pin 12, 4017, the uh, decade counter uh, for this series of uh, shorts. So in any case, uh, we're zooming back. And you're going to see half the time it's off, half the time it's on. But we get to 9, now we go back to 0, boom, now it's uh, lit up. So if we had just counted to 9 and we wanted 10, this would tell the other uh, 4017 wired like this to uh, move its uh, digit from zero to 10 right there. And uh, then you go like 11, 12 to like nine or whatever. And then once you get down here, it would boom till it be uh, two. So it'd be 20 and then 29. And then uh, right when this output goes high again, because you get to nine, it would tell it to move to the third spot for like 30 and uh, so on right there. So that's what it's for for uh, connecting another 4,010 to add another digit to the numbers that you are counting.